Hello there, and welcome to a new video. So this video is um, on how to solve hidden quadratics in maths. So the, this is a really useful skill um, for AS mathematics or year one of the A-level mathematics. And it involves um, learning how to solve a quadratic when it doesn't seem to be a quadratic. For example, when you have um, uh, polynomials of x to the power of four and x squared, or for example, x to the power of two thirds and x to the power of one third. So this is the first example I'm going to give you. It involves x to the power of four and x squared. It's the most common form of hid hidden quadratic that you'll see, um, and they really like to use them. So even though at the moment this doesn't look like a quadratic, I'm gonna show you how it will be. So the most important thing to know when you're solving hidden quadratics is substitution. So in this case, what we're going to do is let x squared equals x. And this means that when we actually, we can rewrite this equation and put it exactly into a quadratic form. And this is how that we solve hidden quadratics. So if we rewrite this equation, we can write it as x squared minus 13 x plus 36 equals zero. If you don't want to get confused, it can be useful to either change x to y, but I like to do either. And in this case, I've just done it as x. Now, this might seem a bit weird because this isn't actually the equation we're solving, but we're going to get back to the original x squareds in a bit. But for now, we're going to solve this equation as it is just a normal quadratic equation. So I advise you before you watch me solve this to have a go by yourself to solve this. But if you want, you can just watch me because you should know how to solve simple quadratic equations at this point. So in solving quadratic equations, of course, we need to find common factors. And in this case, um, the factors that multiply to make 36 and add to make minus 13 are minus 4 and minus 9. So that means that we can factorize it to x minus 9, x minus 4 equals 0. Now, this is where we're going to bring this back in. Because if you remember, it's not actually um, x is in the equation, but x squared. But because we've solved this like it is, and it actually doesn't change the makeup of the equation, we can actually substitute it in for it to be x squared minus 9, x squared minus 4. And I'll show you that this works by expanding this out. So if we move it up here, we if we solve it, so x squared multiplied by x squared equals x to the power of 4, x minus 9 multiplied by x squared equals minus 9x squared, and then x squared multiplied by ma minus 4 equals minus 4x squared, and then minus 9 multiplied by minus 4 equals 36. And then if we add this together, we get x to the power of 4 minus 13x squared plus 36 equals 0. So we can see that this is exactly up there, and we just made it easier to simplify when we just did it like this. And then from this point, you would solve it like a normal quadratic equation. So in this situation, of course, what you would do is let x squared minus 9 equals 0, because of course, one of these brackets at all times has to equal 0. So x squared minus 9 equals 0. So that means x squared equals 9, and then x equals 3. And we know that because obviously, um, but it could be minus 3 as well, of course. And then in the other situation, x squared minus 4 equals 0. So x squared equals 4 and then x equals 4 or minus 4. And these are the answers. So although this looks slightly different, we can actually solve this in exactly the same way through substitution. And the way we know this is because the ratio of the powers here and the powers here is 2 to 1. And that's what you need for it to be a quadratic equation. So in this situation, to take this into x squared and x to the power of 1, or just x, we need to divide by 1 third. So in this situation, what we're going to do is let's x to the power of third equal y. So that's generally the way that teachers like to tell you it so you don't get confused, but sometimes I do it the other way. So let x to the power of third equal y. So that means we can write this equation as 2y squared plus x minus 6 equals 0. So this is a slightly more complicated um, quadratic equation to solve, but um, if you know how to solve it, um, have a go yourself, and if not, you can just watch me, And but I would advise that you learn how to solve these kind of equations. So the way I would solve this is multiply this by that to get minus 12, and then find something that adds to make plus, um, plus 1. So obviously in this situation, it would be that, um, also, of course, multiplies to make minus 12. So this situation would be 2x, 2y squared. I wrote that one wrong. 2y squared. Uh, plus 4y minus 3y minus 6 equals 0, and then we can factorize this to 2y, y plus 2 minus 3, y minus 2 plus 2 equals 0, and then it's 2y minus 3, y plus 2 equals 0. 
and then we go back to how we were at the start, um, like we did last time, I mean. So we substitute the x to the power of third into where y is at. So this goes on the other side, if we go up here. This works out to be 2x to the power of 1 third minus 3 and x to the power of a third plus 2 equals 0. And then if we solve like we would normally do, so 2x to the power of 1 third equals 3. And so then we go x to the power of a third equals um, 3 over 2. And then x equals the cube root of 3 over 2. And then on the other side, it'd be x to the power of a third equals minus 2. And then x equals the cube root of minus 2. These don't come out as quite as nicely as the last ones, but it still works either way. And this is the final example for hidden quadratics I'm going to show you today. In my opinion, this is the hardest one because it's not immediately obvious that you're supposed to substitute to find this out. You might want to try and use exponentials, but the best way to do this is just like we've done before and substitute. So as we can see here, the powers are in ratio of 2 to 1 again. So we know that we can make this into a quadratic equation. And this time, we're gonna, it's in the power actually that the, um, the issue is or the unknown is, but we can still substitute to find anyway. So in this situation, it's going to be 2x that we're going to substitute for y. So um, let's 2 to the power of x equal y. So everywhere that 2 to the power of x is, we're going to change to y. So if we write this out, we can rewrite it as y squared minus 10y plus 16 equals 0. And again, we can just solve this like a normal quadratic. So this would be y squared minus 8y plus 2. I mean, minus 2y. Minus 2y plus 16 equals 0. So y minus 8 y minus 2 equals 0. And then again, we substitute this back into here. So it becomes 2 to the power of x minus 8 and 2 to the power of x minus 2 equals 0. So 2 to the power of x minus 8 equals 0. 2 to the power of x equals 8. And in this situation, we know that um, the power of x, the power of 2, that is 8, equals 3. So x equals 3. Um, if you really needed to, you could potentially use logarithms, for example, um, log two, uh, log 8 base 2, um, but really you don't need to generally because they're quite simple numbers often. And then again on the other side, so 2 to the power of x minus 2 equals 0, and 2 to the power of x equals 2, and then that is obviously just 1. So there you are. That is the answer for him, and that is how you do hidden quadratics. Basically, you just try and substitute when the ratio of the powers on the two, when if there are two polynomials in a um, in an equation and the ratio of the powers is two to one, you can turn them into a quadratic equation by factorizing, um, and then uh, substitute back in the original um, uh, polynomials, and you can work out what the answer is. So I hope this has been useful to you, and you do well now in all your tests.